Hi, I'm Bart Kelsey with OpenGameArt.org, and uh, you're watching a feature tour video. Um, today I'm going to look at the uh, collections feature here on Open Game Art. Um, now this video is for you either if you are completely unfamiliar with collections or if you're not aware of all the new features that we've added in the last week or two. So um, basically I'm going to go through how to create an art collection and then what you can, can actually do with that once you've created one. So um, start out, let's create a new collection. I'm going to go up to collect and I'm going to hit new collection. Um, and I'm going to call this collection trees. And uh, the description, I'll just say a collection of trees. Um, tags, trees. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's collected art. I'm going to leave this blank for a while. Um, the reason being that there are better ways than than adding by autocomplete title to a collection. So generally when you create a collection you want to make an empty one. Um, now finally down here, unlisted collection. So th this is a choice as to whether or not you want to list the collection in the main collection archive. Um, now if you are creating a collection to organize art, say like I'm organizing trees right here, then you might want to list it in the archive. Um, because that will help other people to find trees. Um, if, on the other hand, you are creating a collection that's of a personal nature so you can organize art for your own game project, then you will probably want to say don't list this collection in the archive. Um, it's not going to make it completely invisible. Um, you will still be able to get to your collection. Other people will still be able to find your collection, but it's just not something that's going to come up by default um, in the collections list. Um, so now this created, I'm going to go ahead and save it. Okay, so here is the collection. Notice there's nothing in it right now. Um, so now there are two ways, well three if you count uh, adding directly by title from the edit collection screen that you can add art to a collection. Um, so now real quick I'm going to go back here and I'm going to show you what a full collection looks like. Um, let's look at this uh, 16 by 16 sprites and tiles. So if you have a collection, you've added a lot of things to it, it just, you know, you get this big wall of art here that you've added to the collection. It's just a handy way to find stuff and helps other people find things too. Um, so let's go back um, and let's say we want to add some trees to our new trees collection. So I'm going to search for tree and I'm going to spell it right. Okay, so we've got these trees here. Um, let's say I like this tree here, so I'm going to click on it and I'm going to bring up the art now. Um, so one way to add something to a collection is you go down to these the uh, collections section here on the left side of the page. Um, you find the collection in the select box that you want to add it to. Click it, click add to collection. It says working for a second while it does all the stuff behind the scenes and then once it's added it will just come back up and say that it's now in that collection. Um, so then there we go. Uh, if you want you can also remove it from here. I'm not going to. So there's one other way to add things to a collection. I'm just going to back up and go back to that search page. Um, down here at the bottom of advanced search there's this collect into box. Um, so here you can select the same collection and what you will find is that when you choose it a lot of these plus signs appear here. Um, and basically if you want to add something to the collection you just click one of the plus signs um, and you get the little three dots while it's working and then it should come up with a little minus sign once it's done and that will mean it is actually in that collection and there we go. Um, so let's just add that tree right there too. Um, okay, so yeah, add a few more, whatever. Um, so now we can go back to the collection. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, one good way to find a collection is go to your user page and click on the collections tab, and it's right there. So. Okay, so here is our collection. Now, one thing that is new, and uh, even if you're familiar with collections on Open Game Art, you may not be aware of this, um, is the download credits file feature. Um, 
So basically, if you click on that, you get this long warning paragraph here that basically tells you that Open Game Art is not responsible for the content of the credits file, and we're not. It's just uh, there for informational purposes to help you generate credits. You may have to hand edit it. You may have to verify things in it, and there's a big notice at the top of the file that will make you re look really stupid if you don't remove it. So you need to go in and hand edit this file. That is on purpose. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and download this. Um, and one second, and I will bring it up. Here we go. Uh, okay, so this is what the credits file look lo looks like. Uh, here's the big notice on top that you'll probably want to delete after you read it and follow the directions. Um, and then each piece of art inside the collection has a section here with the credits. Um, keep an eye out for these special attribution instructions. Um, if you see this, it means you may need to go in and modify the text. Uh, if you can see, we've still got a couple little bugs here that I need to work out, but uh, for the most part it works. Um, so yeah, you can go and modify the text, uh, edit the file a little bit, and then save it, and you are good as far as having a credits file, um, although it is still your responsibility to provide the actual licenses, which we have linked to here. Um, so going back, uh, there's one other thing that I would like to show you. And that is the uh, user downloads collection. So I'm actually going to go to my account page here. And I'm going to click on my downloads. Um, and what this page has is a special collection with everything I have downloaded since we started this download tracking a couple of weeks ago. Um, and the handy thing here is you can also get the credits file from this. So even if you're not you know, painstakingly arranging everything that you put into your project. Um, if you forgot what you've downloaded or whatever, you can always come back here and take a look. Um, now, if, if you don't like the idea of a saving the downloads you make, um, you can always go over here and hit disable download tracking. It'll just stop tracking downloads from there on. Um, the other thing to bear in mind is this is private to your account. Uh, other people will not be able to look at it. Uh, you know, I, I obviously I don't really see where this would be a privacy issue, but you know, on the other hand, if you're working on a game jam or something like that, and you're trying to do something that is a secret or a surprise, you might not want people to look. So this download history is not public in any way. Um, anyway, that's about it. Uh, I will close with the traditional YouTube farewell of uh, like and subscribe, yada, yada, yada. Uh, also, one other thing, um, we are running our Patreon campaign con uh, continuously, so uh, if you like opengameart.org, um, please feel free to hop over there and support us. Thank you very much.